All right, good morning. Uh, you know, I just wanted to talk hammers uh, for a minute. I uh, I have an ob obsession with hammers. Uh, my father was a, a carpenter for many, many, many years uh, in, in my hometown, and uh, he was a big hammer freak. He, you know, obviously, uh, and I, th I think that kind of bled into me at some point. Um, I, I just love hammers. Uh, you know, working in the automotive industry and, and working in upholstery and then working on leather. Also, uh, there's there's a lot of hammers out there, and, and they all have different uses. They all have different, uh, you know, there's different types. Um, this was one of my first when I when I got into leather work. Um, I bought a set. It came with like a um, bunch of tooling stamps and bevelers and stuff like that. And this hammer came with it. Um, it's rawhide hammer, uh, your typical leather working uh, rawhide hammer. It's good for stamping. Um, Good for punching holes if you need to. You're not going to ding up uh, your tools or anything like that because the rawhide uh, has some give to it. And, but it's still firm. Um, and I think this is a garland. You know, I think they're out of um, Missouri or something like that. But uh, Or Maine, I guess. Um, real nice hammer. A um, lot of years. Used this one for tons of years. Um, it's been good. Um, there's a time and a use for it. It's real delicate. Uh, lightweight. Um, but you, you know, you swing it hard and you can, you can get some, some effort out of it. Um, uh, uh, when I first started out in leather work, I used to pound my stitches, um, you know, after hand sewing, um, you know, a wallet or whatever, uh, I used to pound my stitches flat. Uh, a lot of, a lot of leather workers do that. Um, I, I don't necessarily do that anymore. I think a lot of my customers really like, you know, with, uh, uh the, the leather wallets and stuff. I think they really like the the raised stitches they like to be able to feel the stitches so i don't you know i don't pound my stitches anymore but i used to b use a uh, a body hammer for pounding my stitches um and i i have an obsession with body hammers too because uh you know in the automotive industry there, there are a lot of uses for these um this is an old one this is I, I probably have six or seven different um actual body hammers that i use um for various whatevers but uh yeah you can see this one's just beat to all hell uh, normally this should be, uh, you know, for a body guy, this should be completely smooth and no marks in it, no dings, no dents, you know, because that would transfer into the body work if, if you use that on, on um, you know, sheet metal or auto body, anything. Um, but, uh, yeah, I love, love body handlers. They're some of my favorite uh, for a lot of things. Um, but, yeah, I don't really use them so much anymore, which is okay. Uh and one one day I, I went into a second hand shop. I was looking for a, a, a ball peen hammer, and I went to this uh, like thrift store second hand shop, um, and I found this old gem. And I just thought it was the coolest hammer. It had so much character and so unique. Uh, the head you can just see, you know, all the stories that this thing could tell um, throughout its life. And I gave this a, a quick polish and you know shined it up real nice and. I used it for pattern stitches for a little while and uh, really like this hammer, but uh, I don't you know use it for much anymore than I use the the peen um, for for doing like copper rivets and stuff like that. Uh, it's perfect for that. The size is just right. Um, it's nice and slender through the neck on uh, the handles, you know decently beefy, but uh, lightweight, you know, uh, heavy head so you can wield you can wield the hell out of this if you need to um but yeah it's super detailed on the on the peen so if you're uh peen and um you know the rivets copper rivets um it's perfect for that it doesn't quite have as sharp of a nose um as you would like with uh peen and rivets but uh a, a good hammer person could you know can make that work i love this i picked it up for like seven dollars i think at the thrift store and i also bought a skull and like an old tin cup along with it that day um, so it was just speaking to me. That was a good, that's a good story. Uh, another secondhand shop score was this old thing. Uh, and, and again, I imagine the stories that you could tell with this thing. This was an old leather workers hammer. So this one is very unique. Um, you know, it's got the leather wrap, a little bit of a, a, a tassel there, uh, just held in with one, you know, one nail and just barely hanging on. You can see it was like a, you know, it might have been on the other side or something. I'm not sure what uh, what was going on there, if that was a way to hang it. Um, like almost a Sam Brown stud, sort of a lanyard on there. Um, but steel head, 
all hollow, and then rawhide in the middle. I thought that was very, very interesting. When I first uh, got it home, I was like, man, just imagine the things this thing has been through. And you can see, <laughs> like somebody has really, really tried to make this uh, mallet head stay on. Um, I think, you know, there's some old nails in here, and I, one of them sticking out. It's like, Jesus, man, somebody put a lot of effort into making this hammer stay a hammer. A uh, great hammer, not, not, uh, I mean, it's got good, good weight to it because of the steel head, um, and still the soft surface of a, a rawhide mallet, you know, it's not going to damage your tools, but, uh, it definitely carries uh, a little bit of a punch. Um, I don't use this very often. I got this mostly just, uh, just to have, just, uh, you know, like to imagine what, uh, what this thing has been through, you know, the, the leather worker that used this. You can only imagine what he had done in his time. Um, got it home, gave it a quick oil job, soaked the hell out of this rawhide because it was darn near coming out. Um, soaked the hell out of it in oil, and it, it swelled up real nice uh, right off the bat, and then I just hung it and called it good. I've used it a couple of times, but uh, it's mostly for aesthetic value and, and just to have the history, you know, of what you can imagine this thing has done, the work that uh, this thing has done. I mean... Just the the patina and the detail on this head, you can only imagine. It may have been a, you know an automotive guy at some point used this for something. I who knows. And then the leather worker got a hold of it. Who you know? You can only you can only make these stories up in your own head as to where they come from. Uh, and my uncle, uh, my uncle was a saddle maker for years up the valley, and uh, I, I didn't know him very well. Um, throughout the years, the last couple of years before he died, I, uh, I got to know him a little bit and got to know his leather shop. And, um, ironically, this was one of the hammers that was in his shop. And, and my old man, my dad basically said, Hey, if you, uh, if you got a use for that, you just take it. You just put that in your pocket and you, you take it with you. Um, and I just thought this was such a neat hammer, you know, a uh, real smooth head on it. Nice, good weight. Um, I don't know if it's just a cobbler's hammer or leather worker or, you know, uh, a lot of uses I'm sure out of this one. And I'm sure my uncle probably, um, probably did a lot of work with this one. You can see the wear in it, uh, in the face of it's not too beat up. I had a couple of little nicks, but, um, real good hammer for, for the kind of stuff that he did making saddles. And I, I don't do that, thankfully. Um, there's, it's a lot of work making those saddles. I know they're good money, but, uh, there's a lot of work and that's not necessarily, uh, my style, but, uh, killer hammer. Just love it. Love the, love the shininess of this one. Um, and it's got a good weight to it. Yeah. So I, I, I'll use it. I'll, I'll use it because it needs to be used. Um, you know, maybe specialty use or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I love this hammer. It's just got such good character. Uh, and again, at the, uh, oh, I don't remember which one, but uh, another second-hand shop, uh, I've seen these two sitting next to each other, um, and I scooped them up, and they yeah, wanted like, uh, what was it, uh, $4 for the Tinsman, and and this is, I believe, a cobbler's hammer also, a uh, shoemaker, um, and a, tin, a Tinsman hammer, and you can see it's it's been soldered, the head has been soldered on, just very neat neat hammer and tinsmen were were such um you know such uh, such a shallow trade definitely a dying art that you don't see it anymore but uh, uh you know this was used for you know making tin cups or you know brass this or brass that uh you know uh, plates symbols uh, shields who, who knows uh all kinds of things uh for tin uh great hammer nice character uh, some nicks in it some uh some detail on the head there. All right, real, real nice hammer. I super like this one. And, and again, uh, I, I almost never ever use this, but I uh, got it for the aesthetic value and because I love hammers. But this is a, uh, yeah, to be able to have a Tinsman's hammer and wonder uh, how old this is. There, you know, there's no markings on it or anything. Um, so I have no way of telling uh, where this came from or, or what kind of uh, life it has had. You can only imagine. Um, cleaned it up, brought it home, cleaned it up. Uh, still haven't got the sticker, the price tag off of it yet, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, super cool hammer. I, I like the Tinsman thing. That's, that's real neat. Uh, this one, 
I just thought this was so cool. Um, and I, I didn't realize what all it uh, had had to say until I got it home. You know, it's got a... There's something in there. Sure enough. Sure enough. There's something in there. I just thought this was so neat. That this would come out of it. You know. For pulling nails, shoes, uh, you know, setting, setting nails, pulling nails. There's your screwdriver. And I was like, man, that is so cool. That is just so cool that they would put a, what, a screwdriver in a screwdriver in a hammer. And I was like, man, wait, wait a minute. But look at this. Sure enough, another screwdriver. Yeah, super cool hammer. I dig this one. Way neat. Don't hardly ever use it. Uh, I might use this like for detailed things. Uh, you know, um, almost never for leather work. Maybe for other things. Uh, maybe one day I'll start making shoes, and that'll be a that'll get some use out of it. Super love these. Anyways, these are my hammers. Uh, yeah, back to the original. Hey, this was such a good hammer for so many years, and I still use it every day uh, when tooling leather or carving or anything like that. Um, punching holes. This one's a great one. Uh, and again, uh, <clears throat> like my uncle in his shop, uh, was in there again looking through some of his leather and um, did happen to notice one that was hanging on the wall that I really did like, and that was this one here. Basically, a beefed up version of my original rawhide mallet. You know, uh, and I was like, man, that 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 is cool. So this this hammer actually made a lot of saddles. This was the one that he had for stamping, uh, carving, that sort of thing, uh, punching holes, whatever. Uh, you know, oblong punches, corner punches on, uh, you know, end punches on belts and stuff like that. I, this is what he used. And, yeah, a lot of history with this one. But, you know, I was like, man, this one would be great for punching holes because it's got the good weight. Nice and heavy. I want to take one whack instead of three with this thing. You know, three whacks. Even, like, uh, punching stitching holes you know, with our pricking irons or whatever. You know, three whacks with this one. One. All right, so what a neat, neat hammer. It's a little bulky, a little big for my 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 taste. Uh, I, you know, I like to be a little bit more detailed, but man, you want to get through some leather. That sucker is where it's at. Yeah. So anyways, just thought I'd talk hammers with you. Love my hammers. Thanks. Have a good day.